everyone and welcome to my video and if you're new, welcome to my channel Well, today I'm going to do a kind of different video I'm going to do a throwback video a kind of a, a video a little bit about me and I was tagged by uh, Katie's Beauty Care Chats I really like her videos I'm going to put her name down here so you can check her out I love uh, her energy, I love her videos, I love her personality, how calm she is in her videos. So I'm going to thank her a lot for tagging me in um, her videos. So I'm going to do that tag today. So this is some throwback questions I'm going to ask and do my best. So let's just uh, start. And it, before we start, if you already haven't, please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. This is the first time I do this kind of chit chat or videos about me so if you like those and want to know some more about me please let me know put questions down below give a thumbs up so let's just start okay the first question is what year were you born in now i was born in 1984 in bosnia and herzegovina that's the country where I, that i'm from and uh, i was born the september the 12th september so soon is going to be my birthday and I'm going to turn 33. It feels like time's flying by, years just fly by. It feels like it was January last month, but it's September right now. Okay, the next question, question number two is, do you have any pictures of yourself when you were younger? If so, show them. Now I do have a couple of pictures. I don't have a lot because when we were moving, um, from our home it was war and we didn't really uh, was thinking about the taking pictures with us so I have a couple of pictures so this is me and my mom and I have another picture this is me and my sister so this is me and this is my twin sister and this speech was taken 27th December 1990, 1990 and I was six years old in this picture so yeah <laughs> that's how I looked when I was younger okay let's go to the question number three what TV shows did you grow up watching oh god I can't remember I really don't remember uh, much of the TV shows when I was younger while I was living in my in Bosnia because when the war started I was around seven eight years old and I can't really remember much what I was watching a lot of cartoons I know I was liking Ninja Turtles <laughs> but TV shows I can't really remember now I do remember a couple of TV shows that I was watching when I came to Sweden I was around 12 years old and I know I was watching um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch or something. I don't know really the name of that show, but I think it was that one and Yeah, I, I remember only that one What did you want to be when you grow up and do you still want to be that? Well, I wanted to be a teacher <laughs> and It was always my dream because during the war I was around eight nine years old and I couldn't go to school or so I was me and my sister were we were playing school all the time and I was always wanting to be a teacher. Yeah, I like to explain things and it, I like to work with children, so I am a teacher. So my dream came true. Now, I know I wanted when I was around 18, 19 years old to be a designer, but that was for it was short time of my life and uh, I, I'm glad I didn't go that way. Okay, the next question. Show a video of yourself when you were younger. Now that's not possible because, like I said, in my country it was war, so we didn't take any video recording videos with us or anything. So I don't have any to, anything to show you. What were your favorite toys to play with? Barbie dolls. I remember I loved Barbie dolls. And. And also I had a dog that looked like a baby <laughs> and 
for some reason that was my favorite doll. Now I've lost it somewhere during the war and I'm kind of sad because I know I felt very calm and very safe when I was around when I had that doll around me. But yeah, now it's gone and yeah. But Barbies were my favorite. What's the most embarrassing thing you can remember doing? I I do a lot of embarrassing things all the time. Uh, I remember when I couldn't speak Swedish and I <laughs> tried when I was younger. So I pronounced everything wrong and everybody was laughing and it wasn't funny for me. Now I can laugh when I'm older. But when I was, when I was a child that was kind of a horrible experience to be laughed at. So number eight. Read something you wrote in kindergarten. I have nothing. I remember the kindergarten couple. I have kind of a couple of memories, but I don't have anything with me. Three songs you loved when you were younger. Oh my god, that's hard. I know I loved Backstreet Boys. I know I loved NSYNC. I know I loved to listen to Boys to Men, but I can't really choose any song, so... <laughs> but I love music, I love music. I have a lot of favorite songs, can't really pick one, but I know I love Backstreet Boys. A lot. <laughs> um, what was one funny thing you dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger? Well, I remember dressing as a ghost. And I don't know if that was the funny thing but I looked funny I can't really remember if that what was the funniest I know I was a ghost once and a witch once so the others I can't really remember but the ghost because I, I had white color all over my face and my teeth and my lips were black and my eyes were black and I thought I looked funny I felt kind of pale so I know I took the blush on and I looked like a clown for a second because I had to wash my face and do the face makeup again but I, that was funny okay the next um, tell a funny story of something you remember happening when you were younger well guys my childhood wasn't very funny I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, it was war in my country when I was younger and that whole that experience, I was there the whole war and then we came to Sweden and it was uh, kind of, the first two years were very hard for me, I lost so much during the war and it was very tough for me and my family or for me and my mom and my sister, so I, I can't really remember any funny stories when I was younger. I do have a couple of them when uh, I was a teenager that I can remember. I know we were going to a friend's house and she lived far away from the school and we took a bus. So from the bus station to her house it was maybe three or five hundred meters. My friend, she really needed to pee. So she was running to her house <laughs> But in front of her house, she couldn't keep it anymore, so she kind of just peed on herself. And that was funny. That was funny. I know I felt sorry for her, but uh, right now I think that was funny when I think about, when I think about it. So. Are there any special things you keep from when you were younger? Yes, I do have a couple of things. I don't have them here right now. And I was looking for them. But I couldn't really find them, but I know I have them somewhere. I have my poems books. I love writing poems in my language, in Swedish, in, in English. I love poems and I keep my old poems books. So that's... I don't know. It kind of makes me happy every time I look at them. And they are... Some of them are so bad. <laughs> Very bad poems. But they mean a lot to me. I kind of wrote down when when I was sad, when I was kind of finding some happiness. So 
they really mean a lot to me. Uh, what was some something weird you used to do as a child? Weird I used to do when I was a child. I remember once me and my sister, I think we were around nine years old, we took <laughs> mom's flowers and we were putting them on our nails. So they looked like long nails. But we were taking these flowers off and we were putting them on our nails. We were walking around like uh, holding our hands like this and uh, dreaming of long beautiful nails. Uh, what was the scariest thing you can remember happening to you when you were younger? Well, there are a lot of things that are very scary. I can't even think about them and I can't even... I don't even want to remember because it makes me very sad. But uh, just to make that long, terrible story short and try to make myself understood in English, I was in the war and I saw so many terrible things. Father was took from us, now he lives in uh, Michigan and we do speak uh, on Facebook and telephone sometimes, on the phone and Facebook, keep, we do keep in touch. But uh, then we lo I lost a big brother and um, I saw people dying, I saw people eat grass, dirt, because there was no food. Uh, I saw, I can't, I don't even want to <laughs> talk about it. So going through that well, around three or four years of my life as a child, that was terrible and um, I wish that nobody has to experience that. And even when I came to Sweden, like I said before, the first and second year were very hard because I was bullied a lot. I was bullied for my look. I was bullied because I wore gla because I got glasses. I was uh, laughed at because I couldn't pr pronounce words right. It was hard. It was hard. And the last question I have here, how is the world different now than when you were younger? Now we have phones and uh, video games and iPads and other things that we did, I didn't have as a child. I know I was outside all the day. I was, me and my sister and our friends were outside the whole day, we were playing, uh, even before the war and when we came to Sweden as 12 years old. I know my mom was yelling at us sometimes and calling us, come in, it's dark, you have to eat. But we didn't want to, we wanted to stay outside and play because, I don't know, it was kind of different. Right now I can't see children playing outside the whole day or a couple of hours at least. Some of them do, but it's not, it's not the same. It, it's not as, this, as it was when I was younger. It was kind of safer, more safe. A lot of children are playing with on the Xbox and uh, PlayStation or other game iPads and phones. We didn't have that as children, so we were outside and playing together with other children <laughs> and having a lot of fun and creating memories. Right now, the memories our children are having is this. Well, yeah, guys, that was everything I had for you today. That was all the questions I answered. Uh, I hope you learned something more about me. If you have more questions, please let me know down below if you want me to do these kind of videos more. I'm going to put the names of the people I'm going to tag down below, so check it out if you want to see if you're in the, this video. Uh, yeah, that was everything. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!